In today's video, we're going to be diving into Block Portal. We have one of the representatives from their team here. I'll be asking a series of questions so we can better understand not only their token, which exists on the Ethereum side, and it looks like there could be some additional opportunities on other blockchains there, but they also have a trading platform. And as usual, guys, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research, and I'll have links to the material down below. So if you wanna get engaged with their community, that is probably the best place that you can go to to ask your questions to get these answered. So let's go ahead and toss it over. I do have PV here, who is over on the Discord side. We don't have a webcam for him, but he'll elaborate a little bit more on that in a later question. PV, how are you doing today? Can you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit more about what it is that you do with Block Portal and maybe a little bit about your background too. Hey, thanks for having me on here. A um, little bit about myself. I've been crypto for a couple of years now. I experiment, experimented with a little bit of uh, meme coins a couple of years ago and uh, realized I wanted to work on a real serious project. Uh, we did a little bit of research and found out what was needed in this in this space. And uh, after months of researching and uh, you know a little bit of experimenting, uh, we figured that what's needed in the industry right now is... Um, there's not a there's not a single spot where a lot of crypto traders can come together and do what they want to do, which is trading and socializing. Uh, currently, there's a lot of communities on Discord, on Telegram, on Twitter, and uh, when you know that's where they trade. Sorry, that's where they discuss uh, different crypto assets. And when it comes to trading them, uh, they have to go on several other platforms, uh, whether it's PancakeSwap, Uniswap, or some uh, some stream. Uh, deck screeners that are currently in the market. So we thought, you know, we would we would have to start developing something that brings the communities together. And that's where the block portal ecosystem came in. Uh, we're building a all in one social trading platform where, you know, people can come together, they can uh, trade their tokens, uh, trade their crypto assets, and at the same time, we'll provide means to uh, communicate with each other, talk to each other, have group chats, have video calls, have audio calls, uh, create groups, have group meetings, uh, have multiple private groups, public groups. Uh, people will be able to create so profiles, uh, just like they have profiles on different social media platforms. And moreover, we're, we're going to have a Web3 marketplace as well, where you know different uh, professionals can offer their services and for whether it's you know graphic designing whether it's uh website designing whether it's web3 services whether it's web3 educational services as uh, as this industry is fairly new and uh currently we have already developed the beta version of our trading platform where users can go and trade uh ethereum and binance tokens and i think that's a little bit about what the project is and uh and what we have done so far. I think uh, I'll let you move on to the next step, Crypto Atlas. What was, what was the inspiration to make this project? Well, the inspiration was uh, as, as we were, you know, dealing with different communities and for the last about two years, uh, we noticed there's, there's a huge gap between communities on different platforms and, and uh, there just isn't a way for project owners to communicate with their investors and investors to communicate with project owners. Uh, if there's a, if there's a token that has been launched and some somehow somebody finds out about that token's address uh, or a link to that token's, uh, uh, you know, screener address, an investor might go there and the investor might look at a chart, investor might look at some of the metrics and then say, you know what, I would like to invest in this project, but they want to find out where they can talk to the project's team. And currently, one of the ways they try to find out is go back to their own communities and say, hey, do you, do you have a Twitter call, you know, link for this project? Do you have a Telegram link for this project? Do you have a Discord link? And, and if there is one, then they get in there and then, you know, and if there isn't one, it's just uh, very risky. And the same goes for project owners. Uh, you know, when projects launch, some some decent projects that launch, and of course, sometimes projects need to make some changes, or you know, they need to convey a message to their audience. Uh, 
they have no way of doing it uh, if there's a lot of audience that is, you know, just simply looking at a chart and trading because of the, uh, from the chart. They don't know how to convey their message to those audience. So we decided to uh, try to fill in that gap. You know, there's there's this huge problem in the crypto industry. Uh, how to how to bring together all these aspects and have communication flow a lot better. So we, we decided to create Block Portal where, you know, you can obviously trade and then investors and project owners can communicate directly onto the charts. Um, and I think that just inspired and then we decided to expand it into a chatting platform and we decided to expand it into having group messaging, profiles, and marketplaces because uh, why not? And tell us more about the partnerships that you've been forming. Well, we launched our, our DAP phase one about two weeks ago. And uh, we launched our, our native token, BPTL, about five days ago. And since then, we have partnered with uh, uh, an upcoming project, uh, a very, very decent upcoming project named Surge Protocol. Uh, we partnered with them. Uh, they became our clients very quick. Uh, as they didn't have a means to show their tokens as their token is very different than ours or, or, or very different than most ERC-20 tokens out there as, uh, you know, they, they have a completely different liquidity system. So they didn't have a way of showing their charts on any of the DEXs and we reached out to them and offered them our service and they happily accepted. And uh, we very quickly integrated their token onto our, our DEX and uh, now you can you, you're able to look at their charts. So they they have about a few thousand people in their communities that are using our platform already to look at their charts. Uh, meanwhile, we're talking to some other projects. I can't name them right now because the deals aren't finalized. Uh, some major projects out there with multi multi million dollar market caps. Uh, we're we're talking to them. Um, in because they're a gaming platform, so we have a gaming section as well. Uh, we're talking to them to be able to integrate their games into our gaming section, uh, into our play section. So those uh, those conversations are still ongoing, and uh, we're we're actively reaching out different projects, uh, some only the major projects, and see if we can secure some more partnerships. And as you know, we're we're only a few days old, so work is being put in. And what about your long term goals? What are you guys doing there? Well, our long-term goals is to basically uh, attract uh, most of the crypto uh, industry, if not all, to our platform eventually. Uh, we understand currently uh, we only have a trading platform, and there are lots of other trading platforms out there that provide the same service. However, our current trading platform provides one of the best UIs uh, that is out there. Uh, you know, There are some major names out there which people are very familiar with, but uh, I, I would like to, you know, I would like to think that our UI is extremely clean and our UI is extremely user-friendly for anybody who's out there. Uh, so, and later on, we'll, we'll be expanding that into the full-blown utility where there will be chatting features and whatnot. So our long-term goal is to implement all the new features that we talked about and then attract all the all the crypto community to come join us and uh, months down the road years down the road we're hoping to have millions of followers and millions of users and is your team doxed kyc uh currently our team is not doxed uh, the reason is because uh, this the way this industry is uh there can be a little bit of a problem if you're doxed if you, if you don't meet someone's requirements if you don't if you don't uh, make certain investors happy the way they, you know, their unrealistic goals. Uh, they tend to kind of cause problems for you and create, you know, uh, miserable times for you. <laughs> and uh, we're we're extremely busy developing the project. And at this point, we just don't want any sort of interference from from any person who's not educated enough or or uh, have the right mindset. So uh, we're looking to be a lot more established before our team, you know, comes out in public. Um, that's, that's basically the reason. Okay. And then hopping over here to your, uh, DAP, the block portal mm -hmm. app. Can you walk us through a little mm -hmm. bit more on this website? Yeah, of course. Uh, so this will be our beta version. 
uh, for the trading platform at least. Um, so you can see on the on the right on the left side there, there's there's a search bar where all of your tokens show up. Uh, you can search for a token, and uh, and then, for example, I mean you can you can look for BTC, right? Bitcoin, and uh, well. This only shows your your tokens that are currently on the Ethereum and Binance blockchain. So, for example, yeah, I mean, you can look at that Bitcoin, or you can just look for BTC, and I'm, I believe there's a wrap BTC that's on. Uh, there you go. Right there. Yeah. That's the one that we got pulled up off of this list here. Yeah, there okay. you go. So, so you, you can search for a token, and and your tokens start adding up on your lot on your list over there. Uh, it's a it's a user friendly interface where you don't have to open multiple tabs to be, keep track of multiple tokens that you're in. Um, this interface provides all your tokens in one place, you know, whether you were just looking for them or whether you're invested in them. Uh, you'll never lose track of your tokens. Uh, you don't have to save them. You don't have to do anything. You, you as soon as you as long as you search it, your tokens are there, and you can quickly switch between all your tokens. So if I and refresh, we have a, if I refresh the page, mm -hmm. these will still be there. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, they always stay there. And if you open a new tab and go to our website, it'll still be there. Okay. And I'm not even connected my wallet right now. So the fact no, that I can be no. able to use these tools and not have to connect the wallet if I don't want to. It's very mm -hmm. nice. And I also see this with the wallet over on the right side. Can you elaborate more on that? Yep. So uh, the whole interface is where you have your, your tokens on the left side, uh, your, your, all your token information in the middle, where you can see your chart, your token name, your token address, uh, all the price information, all the, all the trading information there, holders information. And we've set it up in a way where it's extremely intuitive, where you don't actually have to look for where what's where you can see the name and the contract right there. You can see your market caps and LPs and balances in one spot. Uh, you don't have to look, uh, move your eyes too much and you can see all your token supply holders and transaction information on one spot. And we're using your uh, industry standard trading view uh, for our charts. And at the bottom, you can see all your current transactions that are happening. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, and on your on your right side we have our trade widget and your wallet information. So if you like to trade a token, uh, you can trade directly on the DAP. Uh, we made it again very user friendly, where you don't have to click a button and then it pops up some you know something else and kind of hides everything else. Uh, we wanted to have a very seamless uh, experience for the user. So you can trade your tokens directly on the DAP. And if you are interested in knowing what your wallet information is, what your wallet balance is, you quickly tap on the wallet tab and it opens up your wallet balance. Uh, obviously your wallet is not connected, so it's not going to show your wallet balance. And I see you have both a light and a dark mode and mm -hmm. that we see a little bit more um, prominently on the light mode for what token we currently have selected. And then you have the pinned ones at the top there too. Exactly. So we have a little neat feature there where uh, in case your list gets really long and you're looking at a lot of tokens, and if you have some important tokens that you may have been invested into or or, or, on, or they're on your watch list, you can just simply pin the token and the token gets pinned to the top of the list. Just like that, you pin the Dogecoin and it gets pinned to the top. And maybe if you want to pin the Elrond token, you know, you pin it and it gets pinned to the top. And now your list can get as long as it wants, and your pin tokens will stay pinned to the top of the list. Okay. Uh, so you never lose track of them. And if you unpin and repin, then that puts it at the mm -hmm. very, very top. Exactly. Anything that gets pinned gets pinned to the very top of the list. And I see a play tab here. If I click on that, you have something called Block Portal Chess. Yeah, so that, that just kind of goes to show that we're also going to be having a gaming section. Um, so where people can go play, uh, you know, different type of games, play to earn games, p uh, player versus player games. Uh, and we wanted to start off this section by maybe adding a little qu quick arcade game uh, called Chess, uh, Block Pro Chess. And uh, it's currently not live yet. We're, we're working on some of the issues, some of the bugs within the game. And uh, once those guys resolve, uh, we'll deploy the chess game. And how can people buy Block Portal token, uh, the native token, BPTL? 
if they yeah so to. if you go if, if you go to the bptl token uh -huh. uh, you can you can either go to blockportal.app and just search up bptl and you can buy it directly on our dap you simply search it up connect your wallet and trade uh it's an ethereum token so you're gonna have to be on the ethereum network and uh or you can just go to genie swap and buy it directly from there uh if you know our contract address you can find our contract address directly from the website which is blogportal.info and it looks like for what i have right here off of the display for the chart as well underneath you can technically copy that contract address correct yep yep so we made it very user friendly where uh, lots of other screeners they have you know lots of clutter on their screen where they would have you know, contract addresses and with the name on the side and while they already have the name of the contract showing above the chart uh, we made it in a way where everything is clean so if you want to copy the contract obviously you can copy it but if you want to go to the contract you can simply click on the contract and it'll take you there uh, if you want to know about your LP you can simply just click on the LP and it'll take you to the LP uh, details. If you want to know about the holders or transactions, you simply just click directly on them and it takes you to the holders and transactions page. And you guys are so early. You mentioned that you launched just a couple days ago. I see here it's saying 175 holders. So you guys were literally so early at this that it's not even cracking above 200 holders yet, right? Yeah, we're, we're extremely early. And uh, matter of fact, uh, within a few days, we have seen close to, close to two hundred fifty thousand dollars of volume, and um, and we're 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 growing. Uh, so we're extremely early. We have we have long ways ahead of us, and uh, we're we're just going to be developing. Our main focus currently is on the development side of things, and we know as we grow, as uh, as our utility gets expanded further and further, uh, we're going to have a lot more users coming on board. And then that'll naturally get more eyes onto our token as well. Awesome. Well, that's all the questions that I had prepared. Is there anything else that comes to your mind we haven't talked about yet? Um, I mean, no. I mean, uh, we're open to asking any questions that you like, but uh, most of the information can be seen on the website. Uh, we are very uh, early. Uh, we are ahead of the schedule. If you look at our six-month timeline, uh, we were supposed to launch the token in February, but we ended up launching in January uh, because we just got, you know, finished with a lot of things early on. So we are definitely ahead of schedule uh, instead of being on or even late. So we're doing pretty good on in terms of schedule. Uh, in terms of, uh, I think we didn't talk about the token use case. So the token use case would be uh, within any, any of the token holders would get very, uh, premium access, premium features of the website or the, of the DAP. And they'll get marketplace discounts, excuse me, within the marketplace, uh, whether they're buying any service, whether they're buying any tools or, or anything they like, they would get some sort of discount in the marketplace, all of the token holders. And for our play section, uh, the token holders will get some sort of advantage uh, that other people won't get. So most most of the games on our on our platform will be some sort of play to earn type of game, whether it's player versus player, uh, you know, and winner takes it all type of games, or or who knows different type of games. We're talking to different gaming companies to implement different games, uh, and so all the token holders will get some sort of advantage within the game, so uh, which increases their chance to winning, which means they win money. They they, they are able to make more money. And uh, the other use cases that we're kind of working on developing, obviously, you know, we want to make sure uh, the token uh, really, really is the currency of the of the ecosystem. There are lots of other features of the platform that we haven't discussed yet. Uh, there's going to be payment automations. Uh, there's going to be easy payments as well. Uh, users can send payments to other users uh, with a single click of a button. Currently, the only way somebody can send money to someone or send uh, crypto to someone is kind of reach out to them, you know, ask them for their wallet address, copy the wallet address, go to MetaMask or a different wallet, paste it, send the money, confirm transaction, copy the transaction, you know, uh, co uh, ID, go back to your different platform, uh, send them, hey, you know, this is your confirmation. 
the person goes back to their wallet to checks and checks out. It's such a long process. So we're we're trying to uh, mitigate that and make payment automations as well. Uh, moreover, we're going to have uh, a lot of influencers uh, set up their businesses onto our, onto our platform where they can have automated, um, again, auto payment services and where they can take their clients a lot faster. Uh, client booking can be done a lot faster and in an automated way uh, as per to what's happening right now. So lots of lots of uh, lots of things that are going to be within this uh, ecosystem that that is highly needed in the industry right now. Well, awesome, PV. I want to thank you so much for coming on and answering these questions, elaborating more about your guys' project. And uh, definitely sounds like you've got a lot that you've got going on. And with it being in the early stages, the the world is your oyster, right? There's so many different things that you can be pushing forward with. And it's nice to hear from somebody on the team directly elaborating on a lot of this stuff. And if people want to ask more questions, I encourage them to go and ask inside the community space. Would you say that your uh, community is more active on Telegram or on Discord or uh, kind of split between the two? What would you say? So our community definitely is a lot more active on Telegram for now, and uh, we are slowly growing onto uh, different platforms. But uh, but eventually our, our communities will be predominantly on uh, on our own DAP. Once our group feature and chatty feature comes out, uh, we're looking to set up shop there predominantly and just kind of eventually uh, get off of Twitter or Telegram and uh, because we're going to be an all-in-one platform. But for now, yes, Telegram is where our uh, community is, is most active. So if you want to get in touch, um, you know, you can always get in touch with us on Twitter uh, or Discord. But uh, I think Telegram is where you can get a lot more information a lot faster. And as mentioned before, we'll have links to these down in the description below for you guys. So that does it for this video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, like button. It definitely helps out with the YouTube search algorithm. God bless, and we will see you in the next episode.